quick little piece of work today about scripture, brothers and sisters. Do not waste for one second, do not waste for one second what God is telling you to do today to try to put it off for tomorrow. Tomorrow is not promised for nobody. In the Gospel of Matthew chapter 4, we see how Jesus comes across two sets of two fishermen, two sets of brothers too. First he comes across Peter and his brother Andrew, and he tells them, yo, stop what you're doing and follow me. And what did they do? Straightway, they did that. They stopped what they were doing and they followed him. Then on the coast of Galilee, they were both on the coast of Galilee, he comes across uh, John and James. They were fishing with their father. He says, drop your nets and follow me. And it says, straightway, they followed him. They did not waste any time. They got on their business and they followed the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, God is calling you. Do not waste time. You cannot put off for tomorrow or the next day what he is calling you to do today. You might not be around tomorrow or the next day. What good is it to do that? You have to be about your business, not your business, but your father's business, just as Jesus was, okay? Straightway, follow the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He will change your life. Repent for your sins continually as you make mistakes. Ask God for forgiveness every day. Be genuine and sincere about it. He will forgive you. He's a good father, and he will change you from the inside out. Everything about yourself, he will create a new creature. You will become born again. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, follow the Lord today. Don't waste any time. Tomorrow is not promised. We also saw as Jesus' followers quickly left what they were doing to follow him, his ministry began to grow. He started preaching. That's when he started manifesting the power that his Father, God in heaven, had given him. See, as Jesus walked as a man, he had to, let me watch how I say this, he built up a lot of power that was stored within him from the Holy Spirit. As he was recruiting his disciples, he was gaining the power to go out and his word had the spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh from his mouth had more power out there to the people in effect. So as he was gaining disciples, his power and strength from his ministry was going out to further the kingdom of heaven. I hope y'all caught that. So stop manifesting that in your walks, brothers and sisters.